made a huge impact for Penn State. A former Maryland Terrapin herself, Marisa, wing three, bullseye. A timeout. McKenna Marisa leading the way for Penn State with five. And there's that zone again for Maryland. See what Penn State does. Valde, corner three, bang. Here we're seeing the last three by Tay Valade. Good defense from the Terrapins, less than five on the shot clock. Owusu, top of the key, three, you betcha. Ashi Owusu. As you take a look at this, a jab step right to that smooch. Up ahead to Brown Turner. Brown Turner working, trapped by Brigham. Now Masonis driving in, kick out to McDaniel. Her straightaway three, pure. Briggs settles it down. Now to McDaniel, wing three this time, and buries it. Bree McDaniel. Marisa, the other way for Penn State. She has a game high 11. Awusu, her three-pointer, nothing but net. Ashley Awusu now up to eight points in the afternoon. Three takes in, fires it back out to Taylor. And Taylor will take this one, puts it up and sinks it with ease. It's a great turnout once again. Green looking to set something. Taylor inside to box, out two. We'll see if they can get things going quickly here in this second quarter. Harris sends a deep three and sends it down nicely. And that's more of the Ohio State that we expected to see in the first quarter. She has nice job of Harper getting open, fakes the shot, fires it to Layden in the corner. And McKenna Layden gets a three to four, and that's exactly what the Boilermakers needed. And it comes from a freshman. The double team on Terry. Gets it out to Reynolds. Reynolds fires that one and fires it down. And that is a great offensive play by the Boilermakers. Super close. It's a two possession game. And that's exactly what you want to do is you want to be able to These are names you're going to see in this building for a long time to come. Can they get the job done? Terry at the top. Sheldon, it's a deep three. What a three. And the quarter ends. And with that, we get a quick replay. You gotta love it, JJ. JC Sheldon. But misses two point blank looks. She'd like to have those back. You're right, but watch that dynamic there. Hobby taking the three, drew Sophie Hart outside. Higher connects from deep. All five of the Gophers on the outside on the three point line there. They tried to take it in, but Illinois did a good job running back to the paint. Cook for three, Schmeck. And they'll be holding for the last shot of this quarter. Illinois tries to double team back on top to Hire. She fires a three. Schmack! Quick ball movement right there from Hire. I think you can see with Bolin in the game, Illinois is still really trying to establish that two big lineup. Giving Camille Hobby a bit of rest on the bench as Braun connects from deep. Tries to draw a foul, can't get it, and Amaya Battle pushing the pace on the other end. Battle peels back, tries to find Braun. A deep three from Braun, and she hits it. To be able to slow it down, her first big impact of this game, that's huge. Bryant for three, you bet! And that's bigger because Minnesota just reclaimed the momentum. Cook letting the shot clock wind down a bit. There's nine seconds to shoot. Here's Bryant, trying to free herself up. She does for a triple, she's got it! Seven assists in this one. Here's a look at the latest. Again, Bryant just doing what Makaira Cook for Northwestern, Garzone snatches the rebound, her second. Straightaway triple, you betcha. She was, she had 16 points in the first half, four for eight from the floor, eight for eight. Beaumont to Garzone who just checked in, she is two foul, Scalia, that's a bomb, and it's good. Well, all Indiana so far, Five minutes to play in the first half. Indiana up 22, make it 25. Care zone, deep one, yes! Wong almost lost it outside. Lau's getting going. Carter tries a three and cans it. 